السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته كيف حالكم يا أطفال؟ الحمد لله أنا بخير والحمد لله So let's start class 11. Do you remember what do we learn in class 10? Alwan. Alwan. And now we'll be learning Alwan again. Can anyone why? tell? Why? Yeah, I'm asking you why. Try to recall. I mentioned I it. I think we're having a quiz. No. The colors that we have learned in the last class they were masculine, right? And now we'll be learning feminine colors. Let's begin. Can you read what's there on the screen? Alwan. Long. My, my dear children, the Arabic always you have to start from right to left, not left to right. Clear? First read. Laun alwan. What's meaning of laun? What's laun? Color. Colors. And alwan, it means colors. See, laun is color, alwan is colors. Singular and plural. Next, do you remember how to say red color in Arabic? Ahmar laun. Al launul ahmar. We have to tell the color and then say ahmar. Or you can just say ahmar. So, ahmar. the red color is called as ahmar in Arabic. And you know, this is the shirt. So, in the masculine form, we say red color as ahmar, but for the feminine form, we say it as hamra. If you observe what happened here, this ha, mean, and ra, these are the root letters, and these root letters will be converted into the feminine form. How the ha, mean, and ra will be there, and a Hamza is added at the end and it becomes Hamra. Can you hamra. repeat? Can you repeat Hamra? Hamra. Okay, good. Can anyone translate red shirt in Arabic? Shirt is Qamisun. Qamisun Ahmar? Yeah. Qamisun Ahmar. Red shirt. We saw this in the last class, so I told you to study well. By the way, red shirt yes. called as Amisun Ahmar. And Amisun. its feminine form, for example, the hat in Arabic, it's called as Hubba'atun Hamra. Hubba'atun Hamra. Why are we saying it like that? If you remember in the last class, I told you whenever there is ta marbuta at the end of any word, it becomes a feminine word. And we have to use feminine forms of colors, feminine forms of verbs and everything has to be the feminine form. So you have to observe any word if it's ending with ta marbuta, you have to use feminine forms for it. Clear? So, the Qubba'atun becomes Hamra. Qamisun Ahmar. Qamisun Ahmar. Repeat again. Qamisun Ahmar. Qamisun Ahmar. Let's repeat this one. Qubba'atun Hamra. Qubba'atun Hamra. Qubba'atun hamra. Qubba'atun hamra. Good job. Yellow in Arabic. Yeah, asfar. Asfar. Good job. Asfar. So the yellow color is called as asfar in Arabic. 
This is the masculine form of yellow color and the feminine form of yellow color is, you know what? Safra. If you observe the root letters, Saad, Fa and Ra. They are same here. Saad, Fa and Ra. And a Hamza is added at the end. Clear? So, this is how the masculine and feminine forms, they change. The yellow in masculine is called as asfar. Next is safra. Safra. We have to give a jerking sound. We have to stop here after ra. Okay? Safra. Do you know how to say yellow parrot in Arabic? First, tell me how to say parrot in Arabic. Babbaraun. Very good. Babbaraun. Babbaraun. In? Baba. And yellow parrot. How to say yellow parrot? Uh, uh, Babbaraun asfar. Good job. Babbaraun asfar. So this is called yellow parrot in Arabic. And if we have to say any feminine word and the feminine color, we say it like this. For example, the butterfly is called as parasha. Parasha. Parasha safra. Parasha safra. Okay? Let's repeat one by one. Babbaraun asfar. Babbaraun asfar. Babbaraun asfar. Babbaraun asfar. Farashatun safra. Farashatun safra. Farashatun safra. Farashatun safra. All right. Good job. And do you remember the blue color in Arabic? Can you say how to say blue color in Arabic? Azraq. Azraq. Good job. And the feminine form of blue color is, can you just guess how it could be? I told you the technique. There will be Zaka. the... Zaka. Zar. Zar. Zarqa. Good job. MashaAllah. Barakallahu feek. So that will be Zarqa. You are right. Okay. That will be zar -a. And there will be Hamza at the end. But it's same for every word. But only few words are different. I'll tell you where it is. Do you know how to translate blue boat in Arabic? Blue boat in Arabic. How to say boat in Arabic? How to say boat in Arabic? Shall I help you? Aribun. Right? Aribun. Aribun azraq. Good job. Aribun azraq. That is called blue boat in Arabic. Aribun azraq. Now I'll tell you how to say car in Arabic. I know, I know. Car in Arabic is called as? Sayyara. Okay, Sayara. Is it a feminine word or masculine word? Sayara. Feminine or masculine? Uh, masculine. Feminine? Yeah, it's feminine. Why is it feminine? Because it's ending with? It's, ending with, marbuta. it's ending with ta marbuta. So it's called as feminine word in Arabic. So, what should I use it? If I have to say, blue car. Sayyaratun Zarqa. Good job. It's Sayyaratun Zarqa. This is how we say blue car in Arabic. Let's repeat. Qaribun Azraq. Qaribun Azraq. Repeat. 
قارب أزرق قارب أزرق سيارة زرقاء سيارة زرقاء سيارة زرقاء This is how we translate masculine and feminine colors. Now, do you remember brown color in Arabic? Bunni. 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 When we translate it into feminine form, it's not as the same one. But because this word is ending... Bunni, yeah? Yeah. Like that. This word is ending with ya at the end, so we cannot place hamza at the end. So, the ending of bunni, it becomes bunniya. Bunniya. Bunniya as a feminine color for the brown. All right? Do you know what right. is Arabic? What is this thing in Arabic? Do you remember anyone? No. No? This is a box, right? Yeah. How to say box in Arabic? Sundukun. Sundukun bunni. Good. Brown box. It becomes Sundukun bunni. Right? Sundukun bunni. And kabood. We have seen kabood, right? Kab in Arabic, it's called as khizana. Khizana. Khizana, it means kabood. Now tell me, khizana, is it feminine word or masculine word? Masculine? Khizana. Feminine? Yeah, it's ending with tamar buta. So it's feminine word. So how can we say brown kabood in Arabic? Khizanatun. Khizanatun. Hmm? Bunniya. Very Bunniya. good. Khizanatun bunniya. All right. Let's repeat. Sundukun bunni. Sundukun bunni. Sundukun bunni. Sundukun bunni. Sundukun bunni. خزانة بنية خزانة بنية خزانة بنية good job so now how to say green color in Arabic do you remember green in Arabic yeah أخضر good job أخضر Green is akhdar. Can you translate, make it in the feminine form? Whenever something is ending with uh, uh, sukun here at the end, it's easy to translate in its feminine form. Akhdar. It's same like ahmar. How we translate ahmar? Do you remember? Ahmar, how it became? Hamra, right? Ahmar became hamra like this. Akhdar will become what? Akhdar will become what? Khadra. Okay. So it's khadra. This is feminine form of green color. Now can you translate green notebook? Do you remember how to say notebook in Arabic? Daftar. Daftar. It's daftar. Okay. Daftar is called notebook in Arabic. Green notebook. Akhtarun daftar. Daftarun akhtar. The color has to be after it. Okay. Always we add the adjective form, the explanation. The thing that you are describing, it has to follow the word. Like if you are telling about the book, the book has to come first. And what you are telling about it, it has to come later. 
دفتر أخضر دفتر أخضر All right دفتر أخضر Yeah Let's see this one This is called Green bag Adi. Bag is called as حقيبة حقيبة خضراء This is called green bag Let's repeat دفتر أخضر دفتر أخضر دفتر أخضر أخضر حقيبة خضراء حقيبة أخضر حقيبة خضراء حقيبة خضراء good yeah Next, do you remember white color in Arabic? No, I didn't see it. White color in Arabic? Abiyad. Abiyad. Okay. Very good. Abiyad. Abiyad. Can you translate the feminine form of Abiyad? What it can be? Abiyad. It's again ending with a sukun at the end. Ab yad, ba ya da. It's the root word for ab yad. Wherever you say, wherever you see ba ya da, it means the white form. How can we translate it into the feminine? Ab yad will become ba da. All right. How to say white rabbit in Arabic? Do you remember rabbit? Rabbit, rabbit is arnab. Arnab. White rabbit. Arnabun abiyad. Arnabun abiyad. Arnabun Yeah. And let's translate this one in the feminine form. The cat is called as qittah. In Arabic, we say qitta to cat. And if you see, qitta is a feminine word because it's ending with ta marbuta. And we say qitta tun baydo. Alright, let's repeat. Arnabun abiyat. Can you repeat? Arnabun abiyat. Arnabun abiyat. Next. You remember black color in Arabic? Yeah. Black color in Arabic? Aswad. Red. Aswad. 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 Translate Aswad into feminine form. Sa, wa, da. These are the root letters. Sa, so, so da. Sa, so da. Good job. It will be Sauda. It will be Sauda. Sauda. Aswad Sauda. How to say black shoe in Arabic? Do you remember how to say shoe in Arabic? Do you remember it? Hiza un aswad. It's Hiza un aswad. It's the black shoe. And glasses in Arabic. It's called Nazara. The glasses. Nazara as Sauda. Nazara Sauda. Yeah, why are Nazara Tun Sauda? Yeah, why are we saying it Nazara Tun Sauda? Because there is and tamar tamar buta 
Yeah. Because that word is ending with a ta marbuta and that's an indication for us to know that it's a feminine word. Ahmar hamra. Can you repeat? Ahmar Ahmar hamra. hamra. Asfar safra. Asfar safra. Azraq zarqa. Azraq zarqa. Bunni bunniya. Bunni bunniya. Akhdar qadra. Akhdar qadra. Abyad bayda. Aswad Sauda Aswad Sauda See you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.